Indian Air Force is set to induct the Tejas NK-1A, but India has ambitions of making its indigenous fighter jet a hit in the international market. India has offered its Tejas NK-1A to the Philippines. Manila is eyeing to procure 40 new jets for its own air force, but the Indian Tejas faces stiff competition from another fierce fighter, the Swedish Gripen from Saab. So can India's Tejas beat the formidable Gripen to win the Philippines deal? And how is India looking to sweeten the deal for the Philippines? Manila is facing constant Chinese threats and bullying which are on the rise in the South China Sea, with near daily confrontations between the Chinese Navy and Philippines military. The threat of open warfare breaking out is very real and present. Philippines has already bought the Indian Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles to guard against any Chinese offensive. But India wants to arm the Philippines with its Tejas fighter jet. According to reports, talks between India and Philippines are in advanced stages, with India even offering Manila to set up a local production line, as well as integrating the Tejas and Kevanes with the next generation Brahmos NG missiles. Brahmos NG is an advanced version of its predecessor, but it is lighter, which means it can be integrated on all kinds of fighter jets. It weighs only 1.4 tons compared to the original Brahmos at 3 tons. The NG version is shorter at 6 meters compared to 9 meters. India is hoping the lethal combination of Tejas MQ-1A and Brahmos NG will swing the deal in its favor. Indian Air Force Tejas 1A has been designed as an air superiority jet with superior naval strike capabilities, which exactly serves the military needs of the Philippines. The deal would be a win-win situation for both New Delhi and Manila. India is China's biggest regional rival and the Indian military has been locked in a face-off against Chinese PLA ever since the Galwan Valley clashes in 2020, which resulted in the deaths of Indian and Chinese soldiers. On the other hand, the Philippines needs a reliable defence partner not afraid to stand up to China. US and Philippines have a self-defence pact, with US military having several bases inside the Southeast Asian country. However, US military equipment is another matter. Firstly, it's super expensive. The Philippines certainly cannot afford to buy or fly the F-35. And the F-16s are a platform which came into service in the 1980s. In fact, the USAF offered the F-16C version to the Philippines, but that too was deemed too expensive. Much has not been heard whether the US have even offered other platforms, including the F-15EX. Aviation experts believe the Philippines may buy used old combat jets to fulfill its defence needs, as it is in the bottom bracket in terms of availability of monetary resources. Amidst all this, Sweden's Gripen has emerged as another top contender for the Philippines deal, while Saab's new version, the Gripen E, is set to be in the range of a whopping $85 million apiece. Manila may consider buying used or second-hand Gripens. Saab is also the only manufacturer that offers its fighter jets on lease, something that may attract the Philippines. Saab has already sold its jets to another Southeast Asian nation, Thailand, and now has Philippines on its radar. Saab is also pitching the Gripen in India's MRFA program for 114 new fighter jets. Now, Saab has been on the international market for over three decades and has exported jets to countries including Brazil, South Africa, Hungary and Czech Republic, along with Thailand in the Indo-Pacific. However, Gripen has failed to bag orders from any major military power. On the other hand, India's Tejas MK-1A is a brand new 4.5 generation platform. Costing nearly $43 million apiece, the Indian Tejas MK-1A is priced much lower than the Gripen. India is a global superpower. It is the fourth largest military power and soon will be the third biggest global economy. India would be less impacted by global geopolitical fluctuations given its massive internal market. India can provide Philippines with a stable production line and a fighter jet that is eager to make its mark on the international market. So, will the Tejas MQ-1A get its first export order with the Philippines or will Manila buy the Swedish Gripen? Have your say and leave a comment below and remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons.